Hey guys, welcome back to Stormworks. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure instrument panels and turn them into all the different functions that you need on your creations. And uh, yeah, uh, let's go right to it. So right here I've set up a little board of all the different types of instruments that you can have on your instrument panel. Uh, starting on the left we have the regular dial which is just the big dial, uh, one fourth scale compressed into a tiny little one which is useful if you're doing like a plane with a small kind of like cockpit area and you need a lot of dials and so you don't have to make blocks of room each time. We have the regular indicator light again one fourth the scale um, which is again very useful uh, for the same reason. Same with the gauge. Uh, this can be positioned horizontally or vertically uh, in the settings. And we have the regular button. This can be selected to a push button, toggle button, wherever it may be. And we have the arrow buttons, which are uh, the regular buttons like this, but they can be uh, positioned in different ways as arrows um, which is useful for controls and stuff that you want to separate from the regular buttons and we also have a toggle button like this which is just a flip switch and this doesn't require any power um, to turn on and off and it's basically a circuit breaker um, in the shape of a or a button in the shape of a circuit breaker uh, which is quite cool and then we have some more of like the complicated uh, outputs. We have seven segments, so you can do lots of numbers and stuff, which is cool. Uh, radial segments, which uh, have different like slices, um, which can light up and stuff, which is good for if you need any like radar or something. Um, that's a cool little dial that you can use. And then a bar segment, which is like. Uh, all these different like bars light up and stuff uh, which is kind of cool for like battery charges and that and uh, so yeah and I'll probably uh, go ahead and talk in more detail about this in a minute um, but yeah that's just the overview of all the uh, buttons uh, that are in the game right now so, yeah. okay so we are here in the workbench and we're going to be making a little example uh, for you guys here so getting a little base I think what we're going to do is just get like a simple instrument panel and put some lights on it and stuff like that so we'll build up a little thing right here and then we'll just go and search for instrument panel in our inventory and we'll put that down and round it off a little bit to make it look a bit nicer. Now we'll configure this in a moment, but I think we're gonna have a few outputs here. So we'll have a rain sensor um, and a light. And what else can we have? We'll grab a wind sensor as well because it has a couple of different outputs on it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get battery first because in advanced mode um, all this is going to need some kind of power source otherwise it won't work. So we'll just get that wired up and then we'll use our select tool, uh, select our instrument panel. And as you can see, the four instruments all have drop-down menus, um, and each of these can be configured. So we have all the different uh, types of instruments, uh, which I've already shown you. And I think for the, we're going to start off the light uh, up in the top left. So it goes instrument one, top left, instrument two, top right. Instrument 3, bottom left, instrument 4, uh, bottom right. And there's 
a lot of different things we can choose from that will work but I think a single f uh, flip switch right there um, will work fine and so this can remain on channel 1 we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4 um, which is quite simple and we'll do we'll call this light okay close that down next one I think we're going to have our rain uh, dial uh, so we'll keep the dial and we'll have it from 0 is the minimum value and 1 to the max value because that's what the rain sensor goes off and we'll put that in channel 2 um, which you'll see why in a minute and all these can be fig configured all the way down to channel 32 depending on what you're doing obviously so we'll close that and then for our uh, wind direction I guess we'll have a another dial uh, yeah and minus one to one that would work and number three channel three now I think I might go into more detail on radial segments uh, which are right here and they're kind of like circles um, in another video because that's kind of more into uh, more in depth and a bit more complicated so uh, we'll leave that for now and this can be one direction and then we'll get a let's have a gauge I think that'll be interesting for wind speed and that can go up to I forgot what the let's see if it says It doesn't actually say a number, um, but we'll give it to 100 uh, to 0. And the position of this can be changed, so it's vertical or horizontal, which is cool. And this will be channel 4. So that's our instrument panel all configured. And also you can come in here um, with the additive and change all the... Uh, black lights in there. And just to show you that, we'll get a on signal and wire that straight to the black light on there. Now, this is where our composite stuff comes in because there's no outputs that we can connect to here. Um, but it does have composite ins and composite outs. So the composite out is going to be um, going to the microcontroller which controls all your um, lights and stuff that everything's going to be turned on by the instrument panel and then the signal in is going to be coming from the microcontroller that's all your data uh, sensors and stuff that is going in and then being displayed on the micro uh, sorry instrument panel now we can come into the microcontroller I've kind of already done a little bit um, made a symbol and just came in here and in enter the name and stuff but we'll be messing around with like the width and stuff um, depending on how many nodes we're going to add uh, which is in this tab so all of this is to do with uh, just what the microcontroller looks like and how to navigate it and find it um, which obviously the better you do this and that the easier it will be to find in your inventory <laughs> uh, especially when you have lots so uh, here's where it slightly gets more intricate uh, we have the nodes and we're going to add a couple nodes here as you can see they start off as on off inputs uh, which is not what we want we're going to start off with the composite um, and composite in and then composite out this will be from panel and this will be to panel and then that'll work, we're going to make it a little bigger and then we're going to get our four uh, nodes which we're going to configure so we're going to get three numbers uh, which are going to be inputs because they're data and an on off which is going to be our light which is our output and we'll just label that light 
also be wind direction, wind speed, and rain vector. There we go. And you can do descriptions for this. Um, so if you're uploading um, a microcontroller to the workshop and you want to make it easier um, to understand descriptions and there's lots of different things you can do with this um, that I haven't got into right now. Now coming up here uh, we've got the logic tab and this is where everything's going to be going on and so we've got all our different uh, nodes here. Now what I like to do is to put all the outputs on the left side and all the inputs on the right like this this makes it uh, a little bit easier um, in terms of understanding what is going on now to get from composite to uh, on off or number from number to composite I'm going to be using the composite read and composite write um, yeah and these have an on off or a number so we're going to start up here with the uh, on off for the light and this is going to be coming from the microcontroller we're going to use a read block uh, right here a composite read and so that goes straight from the panel to composite read and then straight to the light and in our case it's going to remain on channel 1 which is set as default right here and so you got all your channels so when this composite comes in it's going to be reading channel 1 which is what our button is set to so it's going to turn on the light which is what we want now down here coming from to composite we're going to be using our write and because we're using numbers we're going to use the composite write number block and this has a few more inputs this has composite input and a, a, a number input so the output simple we just go straight to the panel and then what we're going to do is select how many channels are going to be in this and in our case we have three so all three are going here now be careful what you do with this because these may not be in the right order because from this start channel it goes down so if this is channel 1 this one will be channel 2 and this one will be channel 3 but obviously you don't want that because we have our channel 1 up there so the start channel on this one needs to be channel 2 so it goes 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 which is what we want now we have to go back onto our instrument panel and see where it comes from. And I forgot to label these. Got rain and wind speed. Okay, so it starts off with rain on channel two, and then it goes to wind direction, and then it goes to wind speed. And you're just gonna have to remember that. So rain, wind direction and then wind speed and now that is going to be in order so that will work and that's all you have to do save this as tutorial and then what we have to do is there it is the tutorial microcontroller we'll come back here and just put that on the back and now we can connect everything up so we'll start with the composite, this is pretty simple, two panel, from panel, easy. And then now that I've labelled all these, we can just connect them straight up. So you've got wind direction there, wind speed there, and rain factor there, and then to our light. And now this should work, so if we spawn this in, and we can move up everything on here should work so we have our light and that turns on with the flip switch makes it a bit too hard in a, like that we have our wind speed and our wind direction and our rain 
and I'll turn the weather up so you can actually see this. There we go, it's increasing and our direction is changing uh, and then we'll increase our rain a little bit there it goes all the dials are working our light is working so that's how to configure a uh, instrument panel and uh, that's how uh, you guys can mess around and apply it to your creations and uh, hope to see some pretty cool uh, instrument panels on the workshop uh, that you guys have made. So, let's go back to it for this uh, tutorial. If you want to see more, uh, subscribe so you can stay notified and like. And uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys later.